there will never be a situation where people end a multi-billion dollar deal off of a tweet. Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover from Eminem who recently shared his thoughts on the Spider-Man collaboration, one that's turned out to be not so great for the fans who are looking forward to it and we'll expand on this in a bit. And today we also have more on Kanye West. Around the same time, wild news hit the web about Kim K. Well, clips also hit the web that showed Kanye share his thoughts on his predicament and this confirmed an old theory that popped up weeks ago when the drama was at its peak. More on this in a bit. It's another day. Another one. And another new milestone for Eminem, this time on YouTube, and we'll get to this in a bit. Today we'll start with the latest Eminem and Spider-Man collaboration and check this out from the official Spidey account a few hours ago. The rap battle of the century. See Eminem and Spidey face off on Hustle's new variant cover for the amazing Spider-Man number one, Mom Spaghetti not included. And from Marvel's report on this, it states, only 5,000 print copies are available for purchase on Eminem.com. An additional 1,000 limited print run of the Spotlight version of the original variant comic cover will be available for purchase on OnTheWhole.com starting Tuesday, November 29th. Quote, I've always been a huge Spider-Man fan since I was a kid, Eminem said. Quote, he's definitely in my top five. So being on the cover battling Spider-Man is such a thrill and an honor. Quote, it's truly an honor to be able to bring Eminem and Spider-Man to fans slinging raps on this official Marvel variant cover. There is no doubt that the fans, lucky enough to find themselves holding one of these, will possess a highly sought after collectible, added Kerry Harris, household COO. Well, Kerry Harris was right about the, quote, highly sought after collectible, as fans have expressed on social media. In fact, on Reddit, somewhere wondering, damn, was there only one copy of the signed comic book? Sold out before I could blink, lol. The grumbles continued. Freaking bullcrap, sold out in 30 seconds or less, and some believe it's the usual resellers doing. I received an email like 15 minutes ago, and I checked like 5 minutes later, and it was already sold out. Freaking sucks. And people buying this like rats just to resell it, freaking sucks too, man. But let's be real. Many reports have shown Spider-Man is the most popular superhero in the world and Eminem is the biggest artist of the 21st century, so this sums it up nicely. No surprise, all the exclusives sold out in the merch drop immediately. Moving on, Eminem's YouTube dominance continues for hip-hop artists as so far in 2022 is made it 10 in 10 months as the number one hip-hop act on this platform. And now check this out, Eminem has surpassed 4 billion views on YouTube in 2022 so far and for some context, this has been the norm for Eminem on the platform. He ended 2021 as the top hip-hop act, but expect the gap in 2022 to be significant based on the monthly reports so far. Moving on to the next point today, before we get to some wild reports about Kanye that hit the web, clips of Kanye speaking on his recent predicament have surfaced online, and overall Kanye claims to be thankful and made a big revelation about Apple Pay, for instance. I went from being a multi-billionaire to not being able to use my Apple Pay. Four nights ago, I couldn't use my Apple Pay because somehow Adidas was able to legally go in and freeze my money. And when I see this, I think, well, if this could happen to me, this could happen to other Americans. And for what? You know, this can happen to an American that didn't even steal anything, that didn't even hurt anyone. This could just happen to you for saying the wrong idea out loud, for expressing yourself. But just like the theory suggested when the whole drama started that he's finding a way to get out of his contract, well, he had more to share on that. All of the things that got taken away from me, I'm so thankful for that because I get to serve God better. So th going into Thanksgiving, I know the people at Adidas are not going to have the best Thanksgiving. I know that they're not going to have the best Christmas. I promise you, I can, guarantee you one, I can guarantee you one thing. On Thanksgiving and on Christmas, North, St. Chicago, Song, they're going to all have a good meal. And that's what we do it for, our families. Also, I know another thing is, for everyone in contracts, I know that this will never happen again in history. There will never be a situation where people end a multi-billion dollar deal off of a tweet. 
gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. So I would like to thank everyone that was involved with this negotiation. Thank God no one was hurt in the process. And I feel free. <laughs> and while this was on, wild news hit the web about Kanye from Rolling Stone's report from unnamed sources who were reportedly ex-employees who shared some details on how it was uncomfortable to work under Kanye and their report included quotes like, he had pull up mature explicit videos and was like, see this feeling? This feeling that you get when you watch this? This is what I expect people to feel when they put on our shoes. So it was like, oh my god. Is this really happening? He couldn't use any other way to describe this except by pulling up explicit videos. And this section of the report made headlines about Kanye showing off Kim K. Quote, My wife just sent me this, Wes said, according to the creative. On Wes's phone, the creative claims was an intimate photo of Kardashian. Quote, It was very revealing and personal. The creative tells Rolling Stone, Quote, I didn't really react. A source close to the creative recalls being told about the photo of Kardashian hours after the meeting. At least one other time in 2018, Wes showed an explicit video of Kardashian to members of the creative team at Yeezy, according to a person who says they saw the video. And now this report has sparked conversations like, so it's pretty clear Adidas had no problem with Kanye's behavior for a very long time. Another adds, I mean all this proves is that people put up with a lot when you're making them money. Kinda how the world works. Shrugs emoji. But over to you guys, share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this and see you on the next one.